And what it's doing is essentially electrons are being rubbed off the top end and they go and build up in the dome. Where we get a build up of charge, when it gets so big, um, it basically ionises the air between these two spheres. Now unfortunately today, because it's very damp, you find it's not working very well. If I move it a little bit closer, you're relying on basically essentially a dry day for this to work particularly well. Um, when we've got enough charge built up in the dome, it should essentially arc across. It's ionising the air particles that enables all this negative charge to build up on this stone here to go to here and then to go into there. Okay? So essentially it's going from where there's lots of electrons to where there's much less. Now if I was to put my hand on here, the electrons would go through my body. Okay? And then to earth. So the basic safety you need to remember is that if you don't get the students to have a go at this and they will want to have a go, you need to make sure they're standing on some insulation. Okay? When they get on and off, you want to make sure it's discharged by just putting the data. If you've got a good day, what you can do, if the Graph generator is working very nicely for you, then what you can do is, I always personally like to switch it off, turn it back on again, put my hands on it. Okay, you can build up the charge on you, and then you can ask a very helpful assistant to come along, so one of you people in your class, to come along, and if you've got enough charge built up, then you'll be able to light a Bunsen burner. So what you do is, is your body is taking all the negative electrons and charging along, okay? You ask to make sure the student is well away and just turns the gas tap on you because you don't want them to get a shot. Okay? And if enough charge is being built up, you bring your finger very, very close to it. And what happens is the charge that's built up in your body would arc across and then light the gas. When you do that, it's a great crowd pleaser. Just make sure someone has switched off the lights at the same time, and then what they'll see is they'll see the gas line, and then that will give you a good introduction to talk about the reasons why we don't want static electricity built up.